This is tutorial number 12, and it covers how to make a new work plane within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now let's just rotate this plane a little bit. And right now we're working on the XY plane. And let's say we want to make an offset plane to it. So what we need to do is click Return and go down to Work Plane. We'll click the XY plane. Now to make a new offset plane from here, all you have to do is click and hold on it and then drag it out. So let's make this 50 millimeters away. Click OK. And now you can see the XY plane and this is our new plane that we've offset from it. Now why you would want to make a plane offset from another is if you want to do a loft or something, you'd make a sketch on this plane and a sketch on this plane and then you can loft in between the two. So you could have a small circle here and a larger circle here and then you can loft it in between the two and it'll have a descending diameter going across. Now we can do this on other planes too so let's click the XC plane, let's click work plane and let's just drag it up again click OK and now we've made another plane off there. Now we can also make another work plane off an existing work plane so let's click this work plane, click work plane and we can drag it off of here or you can drag it behind. So let's put this one all the way back there click OK and now we have three planes that run parallel to the XY plane. So we can have a sketch here, a sketch here, and a sketch there and we can make them all loft and go together. Now we can also make a work plane off of a object or surface that we've created. So let's click the X, let's click the YZ plane, click sketch, click the two point rectangle, and let's just make a square, click return, click extrude, and let's extrude this 50 mils, click OK. And let's make a plane off of here. Let's click the work plane and we can just loft it off of there and we can make it 50 millimeters away. Click OK and now we've made a plane offset from there. Now we can also make planes that aren't anywhere on the parallel to the YZ, XZ or XY. So for this let's click this surface here and let's draw a sketch. Let's create a triangle here click return and we're going to cut this. So click extrude, click cut and for the profile let's click the red circle there, click OK and now we have a surface here. Now we're able to make a plane come off of here. So let's click this face, let's click the work plane and we're able to bring a plane off from there. So let's make it 50, click OK and if we rotate it around you can see that we've now made a plane that's parallel to there and it doesn't have any reference to the YZ, XZ or XY. So we're able to make a reference plane at any angle off of any shape. And this concludes our tutorial on how to make a new work plane within Autodesk Inventor.